A lot of things have gone wrong in the crypto market since its inception, but it has never been this bad for the industry as the cryptocurrency is kind of speculation. However, the year 2022 seems like the unluckiest year for crypto as it has faced a brutal downfall. The crypto market's biggest downturn has been panic selling. Fundamentally, there has always been kind of a mistrust over the cryptocurrencies as the general public has always been used to holding their hard-earned currency and not something they were used to just viewing it digitally. Let skeptics be skeptics. But how come the believers turn into skeptics and go into panic selling? So, yes, today in this video we are going to discuss what exactly led to this terrible haphazard. Besides, by the end of this video, you would not only know what has happened, but also how to avert such situations in the future. If you take a look at the charts, then you would notice that we are trading at about $21,000. But way back, we were trading for 69%, which means we have been trading for over $30,000 to $60,000 for the past year and a half. Just recently, the break from such a huge amount took place in the charts which say it all. Take a look back, and you would be able to notice that in the previous market, the all-time high was $20,000. A cycle repetition is possible, but before we go into that topic, let us finish discussing this one on what went wrong in the crypto market. Just having a view of the charts from different time frames would be enough to explain how volatile the crypto market actually is. Even Ethereum has gone to 78 and drawdown from the all-time highs. Let us make you even more shocked. This market downward trend is present not only in the crypto market, but also in the stock market like NASDAQ, which is a tech stock, where it is down by 32%. So, what is leading the market to a downward trend? Two words, macro economy. As you might be aware that the Fed Reserve has the ability to manipulate interest rates and their action has caused the market to move differently. Well, this wasn't the first time such a major change has taken place due to them. Just a few days ago, there was a 75 base point hike. And for those of you who are not aware of what that means to you, well, it just means that money gets a bit more expensive for you and thus you become less risky. This kind of action is always bad for assets, and that is why the impact is major on the crypto market and exaggerated price action is happening in the stock market as well. Did you notice how the price of food and fuel, the two most essential items in our day-to-day -day life, has shot up? At the same time, the wages are not increased. Say what? If at all you want this scenario to change, then it is possible only if Fed happens to announce or even given a hint that at some point the interest rates are going to be lowered. Yet another long shot would be the ruling of the U.S. doing something about this pretty soon, like offering subsidies or reducing the price of essentials. It is a long shot, but still worth a shot, as the mid-election is nearing and the possibility for them to continue as the ruling party totally depends on the people. So how else this situation can be tackled? Minting money is yet another possibility, and we already know what happened when the government printed more money during COVID when it hit us initially. Yes, you can watch a massive bull run. Until one of those miracles could be pulled, you would be watching a boring kind of flat-ranging market, or just lower prices in the market. So, let us ask another interesting question to look at this scenario from a different angle. Was macroeconomics the sole cause for such a downfall? Well, no. The Celsius blow-up is yet another reason. For those of you who are not familiar with the entity Celsius, it is just like BlockFi and Nexo, which acts as your crypto bank account where you can store your crypto for which you will receive the fixed interest rate. Let us just assume you have deposited in USDC for which you can trade in UST by depositing Anchor. In the case of such entities, you will receive only 5% from the trade, while the rest 15% will be pocketed by them. Well, this was before Celsius, because only UST and Anchor were gone. However, this caused massive pressure on Celsius. That is not it. They are also facing insolvency, which means Celsius has about $10 billion in customer assets, but only about $1.5 billion are accounted for in their various Celsius wallets. This mismatch, where the customer funds to liquid funds are not in sync, clearly smells fishy. So. All trading and withdrawing in terms of Celsius has come to a halt for now. How are they going to repay their customers? Will they repay? Imagine such a pathetic situation for a crypto platform that is considered one of the biggest in the world. Well, that is a totally different topic, so back to ours. Yet another major hit was taken by the largest capital of hedge funds. Three arrows based in Singapore. It is at the risk of liquidation 
as they have deposited about $245 million in the AV, which is a leading platform. In order to pay back their loans, three arrows have started selling off massive amounts of their cryptos. This is a scary scenario. Even if Ethereum goes down more by even $1,000 than for sure, three arrows will be liquidated. Can you even imagine the state of the crypto market if Ethereum goes down to $1,000? Such a situation might not only bother three arrows, but also the Ethereum investors as it is one of the top cryptocurrencies in the world. This would create yet another ripple in the crypto market. The reasons continue as Coinbase has recently laid off 1,100 employees and Binance has also faced a wrath as it has paused the Bitcoin withdrawal for several hours as there was a stuck transaction. Can you believe that? If you don't, then you can believe that Tron's USD stablecoin is now trading below peg. It is a similar case for the UST. Despite all this, Injecting the $2 billion cash has finally resulted in us believing that the world is totally different from what we think. The trading withdrawals have led to people losing jobs and investors dumping their holdings. And now the market cap of crypto has dragged the cap down to $1 trillion from a peak of $3 trillion. Even Crypto.com has announced a staff reduction of 260 people after this seems the best way to cut costs as such an act would pull down the high value of trading and especially helping investors to rotate out the risky assets. However, in the case of Gemini, they have laid off 10% of its workforce. Experts call this period the contraction phase, famously known as the contraction phase, otherwise known as crypto winter. Let it be the spiraling inflation due to macroeconomics, or the succession of Fed interest rates, or the lowering of the track equities of the blue chip cryptos, just the laying off of employees and biggest names in this industry facing insolvency isn't helping the case either. This scenario has stirred the fear of recession, and yes, it is a fear we should dread, as it is going to take a while for the cryptocurrency to recover from the sell-off in riskier assets. If you're going to question the duration of recovery, then we can only reply, metaphorically, as we have taken the lift down. The time taken to reach the starting destination through climbing stairs is quite a long period. As a disclaimer, we would like to add that this is strictly not financial advice, but we just believe that the chances of bringing the crypto market back to form are quite high. Slow and steady, but definitely high, as nothing fundamentally about Bitcoin or Ethereum has changed. Thus, nothing about the crypto market has changed as well. The volatility of the market is always unstable, so don't stop believing in the crypto market. It is here to stay. Don't believe us yet? And when our prediction comes true, remember to come back and leave us a comment. For now, if you enjoyed our video, then hit the like and strike the bell for future updates. Hope you are watching this video after subscribing to us. If you haven't, then without any further ado, hit the subscribe button as well.